Hey guys, it's me Shondell, creator of The Craft Print, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how I blinged out the name portion of a champagne glass I created for my sister's birthday party. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more bling and craft videos. So I'm using a multi-pack that I purchased from the thekingofcreations.com and this pack is about $10.99 to $11.99 each depending on the color and it gives you multi sizes of the AB flat back glass rhinestones. So I chose black on the name and when I show you the cup here I did not video the portion of me blinging out um, around the edges of the um, champagne glass. So what happens is I use the um, clear or they're just like crystal clear, I believe, rhinestones for that, and then the black just for the name. Now, here I'm just putting a little bit of Gorilla Glue on a piece of paper because the Gorilla Glue, the little spout at the top, it's really thick. See, this is the glass, and you see the letters are pretty thin. I attempted to use my crystal katana to just line the glue up on the letters, but you'll see eventually I switched glues because I didn't like it. But I prefer to use the Gorilla Glue on my bling products. So the clear stones that you see around the glass, I use the Gorilla Glue for that. Because I could just spread it. It could be thick. It didn't really matter to put those stones on. For the black part, I would have really loved to keep using this glue. But it was hard to get it on the letters without messing up or getting glue on the clear part of the glass. Now the tool I'm using is called the Crystal Katana from the crystalninja.com. I believe that's her website. I'm going to link it, get the correct thing for you guys. Um, it picks up the stones really well. And the other side of the crystal katana, you can see that little silver tip I was using for the glue. It's not necessarily used for that, I don't believe. But that's what I used it for. And it also helped me with picking up the really smaller stones to put on there. So now the process for blinging, as you can see, it takes a lot of time and a lot of patience. For me, it's very relaxing to do these projects, but I do not sell bling products because I feel like then it takes the therapy side of it out for me. Now, once I line it up, I add the stones one by one, and I just kind of eyeball which size I'm going to need. And usually, sometimes I get it wrong, it's either too big or too small, I just remove it quickly because the glue, it dries, it takes quite some time for, especially Gorilla Glue, to dry. So you have a little bit of time to kind of take it off, get a new size if it's not the size that you need. When it comes to script fonts, a lot of the times, it'll be kind of small and big depending on the curve of the line. Currently. I am unsure of the font that I use, but I will get it for you guys and type it in the description. I did create this in Design Space. I typed in her name. Um, her real name is in Tai Chi. That's just what her Instagram name is. So I typed in the font. I measured out the size that I needed, and I did this about, um, I think it was two and a half to, to two and a half or three inches in width. Cut it out in vinyl, weeded out the pieces I didn't need, used the transfer tape just like any other vinyl project. Then I put it on the glass and it's ready to bling. So you just add on the vinyl the usual way. So at this point is when I decided the Gorilla Glue just wasn't really working. Now this white glue, it goes on white, but it dries clear. So you won't see that white. And that is um, super tight Fusion Tack adhesive. This little pre-filled bottle I actually received from King of Creations website as well with a, um, a package that I purchased for a bling class that he had. I'm not sure if he sells them. I don't think he sells just the individual bottles, but you can get that in his um, package deals that he had for certain bling projects. But you can check that out. It's kingofcreations.com. King of Creations both start with a K. So it's K-I-N-G-O-F-K-R-E-A-T-I-O-N-S dot com. And all of the stones used on this glass 
was purchased from his site. The glass, actually, I believe we got this glass from the Dollar Tree. And it's pretty durable. So if you're thinking this takes a little bit too long for my liking, you can speed up or skip to the end of the video. I didn't want to speed the video up because I wanted you guys to see the entire process. So sometimes I put them on, they shift, sometimes they come off. It's not just place them on there and everything works out fine. So as you can see here, pieces kept moving. So I had to keep adjusting them until they fit entirely into the font. It can be a little frustrating. So never bling a project in a rush. If it is an order, make sure you give enough time for you to get this project done. Time for it to dry. Even if it's quick drying glue, let it dry for at least 24 hours. Once it's fully dried, then you want to come back and clean it because as you can see with the glass, it's not that clear and shiny. And that's because of my fingerprints continually touching the cup. So you want to let it dry completely and then clean it. And you can, these stones won't come off, especially with that Gorilla Glue. So you can use like the soft sponge and just clean it like a regular glass. I do not recommend putting it in the dishwasher. I'm not sure how that would work, but I would say hand wash only. So again here, you see the stones were moving and coming off. Two of those stuck together. If it gives me too much of an issue and I'm trying to fix it, I'll just remove the stones completely and just bring in some new ones. And if it needs a little more glue, just put it on there. And even with the glue, you got to kind of take your time so that it doesn't spread all over the place. So you see how they keep moving? It takes a little time and a lot of patience when you're blinging products. But for me, um, blinging things are extremely therapeutic. Also, let me know if you guys want me to maybe videotape me blinging more things besides just my paper crafts. I do have a short piece of a video when I was blinging out my Cricut and I think I'm going to add that here as well. Also in the comments, just let me know if you have any suggestions for videos. I got you. So what I'm going to do, I probably let it play out because you don't really need me to tell you like every little step of the way because it's just continual. You keep going, line a little piece. Do not do the entire name with glue. You want to do a little portion, glue that portion, then move on to the next portion. Give yourself some time because you have to keep adjusting or moving or sometimes you're just really good and you put them on and everything is okay. With me, I usually have some that's the wrong size. I have to take them off. I usually have some that move all over the place. Sometimes it doesn't even come off the crystal katana. It just sticks to it and doesn't move. So I'd have to remove it and pick up a totally different one. See, it's literally just take your time, add them one by one. So I'm going to let it play out and then I'll come back with commentary towards the end. If you feel like you've seen enough, just skip over to the end to see the completed project. But if you want to see the entire project, just let it play. So I changed my mind and decided to speed up the video for you guys. Um, it took entirely too long as I watched the replay. So I just sped it up since you guys already know the technique that I use for the entire thing. And I just want to add that the amount of time that it took for me to complete just a name was about 25 minutes total. So sped it up so you don't have to sit here and, you know, kind of be bored when you're ready to bling it out yourself. 
don't forget to tag me at the craft print on Instagram so I can see what you've done as well. Alrighty, and we've made it to the end. If you got here by skipping the video or watching the entire thing, regardless, I'm grateful. Thanks for watching it with me. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you are not already subscribed. So I just want to point out all of the white pieces of the glue you're seeing around the stones. Again, it's going to dry crystal clear, so you won't have an issue. And this is the end result of blinging out the name portion of a champagne glass. I'm going to add a little end video to show you how it looks when it's completely dry as well. Thanks for watching guys. Okay, I'm back again. I just want to add, if someone is going to be drinking out this cup, I suggest you do not bling completely around the top of the rim like I did. I left a portion empty just for her to use to sip on because I didn't want her to put her mouth on the glass with the stones and the glue there. If someone wants it fully decorated all the way around, just suggest they use a straw. And this is what it looked like when it's completely dry and clean.